sun still shines a friend of mine. Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Poway Professor. My name is Mark. Thank you to all my subscribers. Welcome to any new viewers. Click subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Well, welcome to another episode of Poway Professor. I'm out behind the woodshed again to uh, do another vlog. And um, as you can see, I am ready for the rodeo. It is rodeo time in Poway. We, and this is a special occasion. This is our 50th rodeo. So this is the 50th anniversary of the Poway. Uh, I think it's called the Poway Roping Competition. There's a parade and fireworks and all that kind of stuff. Activities for the kids in the parks and so forth. Bands in the bandstand. So uh, the whole year kind of revolves around this weekend. Now it's happened this weekend. By the time this video posts, it will be over. But it is rodeo time, so I've got my cowboy hat on, and we are ready. And speaking of anniversaries, uh, this is also a big anniversary for me. This is my one-year anniversary on YouTube. So I posted my first video September 16th, 2022. So just a little over a year ago. And my first long-form video was October 17th. So, in that time, since then, I have posted 26 videos total, 10 shorts and 16 long form, and that was kind of my goal. I hit my goal of 26 videos in the first year. Why 26? In the old days of broadcast television, a season was 26 episode of a series. 26 is half a year, and then they would do reruns from April through September. So. Um, I did it. I got 26 videos out, and so I want to talk about um, my experience, what I liked about it, what I didn't, and if you stay to the end, I'm going to play a, a new original song. It's a premiere. I've never played this one before uh, in public, so it's called Just For You. So stay tuned for that. So, back to the YouTube channel. When I first started the YouTube channel, I had something totally different in mind. I was going to, I, I do a lot of nature videos. So I was going to post nature videos, and I was going to create original music, instrumental music in the background, and that was going to be my creative outlet. But um, that never really happened. I ended up doing more of a journal. So, as so many artists out there are doing, I'm using YouTube just to kind of post a weekly update, a journal of what I'm doing and where I'm at with music, so I can look back, just for me, and, and see what's going on, and then hopefully other musicians might be inspired or otherwise interested. Am I glad I did this? Looking back over the past year, would I do this again? And absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, as with so many things, I wish I had done it sooner. I created the channel in July and actually didn't post my first video until September. So I definitely got cold feet and took a really long time and then finally just posted a real quick short of myself playing guitar. And then I had about 10 more shorts and then I did finally put together a long form video. And I had wanted to actually do it at the beginning of the year, so it really took me about nine months to get up enough courage to post my first video. But um, I finally did it, so I'm really glad I did. I, I can look back at these videos. I'm really proud of them. Some of them I'm very proud I spent a lot of time on. What's What do I like about it? Well, absolutely, it is this fun. So standing here doing what I'm doing right now, blah, 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 at a camera is about as fun as it gets. And playing music and editing and posting, um, it, 
it is a great creative outlet. I love editing and putting all these effects and making it come out a certain way. You definitely get to really exercise all your creative muscles doing this. Most importantly to me is just the feeling of accomplishment I get when I post a video. Once I post a video and it's ready to go for Monday morning, I, I just I take a deep breath, I relax, and I just pat myself on the back. I could be doing it probably half the time, but I'll get to that later. And then, of course, uh, creating a video journal, uh, a video record of what I'm doing musically so I can look back uh, as the years go by and see how horrible I used to be. Look how I used to do. This is how I do my A's now. I used to do them like this, and I used to do them like this. So, yeah, I can see the progress already. Um, so that's the good part. Uh, what do I dislike? Well, in general, I hate deadlines. I mean, because I am a first class procrastinator. So I like just doing things when I like doing things. So I created a deadline for myself deliberately to get myself to post every week, Monday morning, 6am. And of course I post it the day before. I don't stay up till six in the morning, but I post it on Sunday or sometimes Saturday or even Friday if I'm really ahead of the game. It is, as I said, a very time-consuming process. It seems very simple. I could be doing it much simpler by just using my phone and posting videos up, but I do a lot of editing. Um, I use a lot of camera angles, um, and um, I really get into it because I love filmmaking. This is really one of my favorite things. So I spend more time than I need to on it, but it is time-consuming, and you will want to make it look right. And probably the biggest thing for me is the uncertainty. And this is what I hear from a lot of creators too, is like every Monday, I post Monday morning, 6 a.m. So first thing I do, I get up Monday morning, I start my next video and I sit down and I go, what am I gonna do? What kind of stuff to, what kind of content to post? Like, should I do gear haul? Should I do just, you know, playing my song? Should I do vlogs like I'm doing now? Um, what do people want? What does the audience want? I have this concept that there's an audience out there and they just haven't watched my videos yet because they, I just haven't put the content out that the, is, gets their attention. So um, that is a very frustrating, just trying to decide what kind of content, how are you going to do it. And once I've made that decision, the creative part kicks in, then it's really, really fun. <laughs> What have I learned? What have I learned in this year of posting to YouTube? Well, like I said, it takes a lot of work. It's way more time consuming than you would think if you're doing it the way I do. And so I've had to learn a lot of efficiency and workflow. I have learned to be really disciplined. I upload videos as soon as I shoot them. I shoot a lot less video than I used to. I used to just shoot everything I do and I figure, oh, I'll just figure something out. What you're going to end up with at the end of the week, you're going to end up with 20 hours of video and you're going to have to watch through all this video trying to figure out, find the three minutes or the five minutes of really interesting part. I've learned just to be really more purposeful about when I shoot video, uploading it, label those video files, label those uh, WAV and MP4 files. As soon as you upload them, don't just have a folder full of clips 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Uh, discipline, organization, sticking to a production schedule. I'm shooting Monday, Tuesday, uploading Wednesday, editing Thursday, Friday, any last minute edits and the thumbnail over the weekend. So that's kind of what I've learned. Um, what would I do different? I would probably cross promote a little more. Again, I would have posted more video sooner I would have just cranked them out and got them out quick as quick as I could if I if I just had the wherewithal um, and one other thing I probably would do different is I might choose a different name basically somebody told me pick something that describes you and it's alliterative and I had been a college math professor so I call myself professor and I live in Poway so I call it Poway professor although I want to make it clear I'm not a professor of music and obviously, I, I doxed myself in my own YouTube title with the Poway, so there you go. 
last thing I'm going to ask myself is, would I recommend this to you? <laughs> would I recommend this to other people? Absolutely. If you are thinking of doing a YouTube channel, my advice would be just start now. It is the easiest thing in the world to do. All you need is a Google account, log in to YouTube, click on the plus. It says upload video. Just simply upload of a video of yourself doing something and you're good to go. You're off and running. All right, let's wrap it up. I'm going to talk about my plans for the next year. Um, yes, I do love doing this, and so I plan to keep posting videos for the foreseeable future. Uh, I want to get 50 videos posted next year. Yes, 50. One a week. I'll probably skip the major holidays, but other than that, probably uh, some more shorts mini gear hauls and things like that and just short vlogs some longer vlogs and uh, probably some more music videos just me playing songs because i really like doing those but that's hard because it's hard to play all the way through and get the song perfect that is my plan for the next year and we'll see how it comes out uh, expect to see a video uh, once a week monday mornings at 6 a.m some of them will be shorts but um by this time next year, I should be up to 75 videos on YouTube, and uh, maybe then I'll have some more subscribers, and uh, we can get this thing rolling. All right, I promised you I would do a song, so I am now going to do a brand new song. I just wrote this song. Out. folks well as i promised i'm going to play you a brand new devoted hound song called just for you uh, just finished this a month ago for paul's birthday we've recorded it i'm waiting for his parts to come in then we'll publish it at the end of this month so without further ado world premiere of just for you
the sun still shines, a friend of mine. All right, again, this is a brand new song. I played a little slow. I did make a few mistakes, but thanks for bearing with me. It's been really fun. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Poway Professor, stay in tune. Harp solo.